The notation staff is a grid and a timeline. The vertical placement of a note on the staff determines the pitch of the note. Where the note is placed horizontally determines when the note is played in relation to other notes and rests around it. Keyboard music is written on a grand staff, which is a compilation of a treble staff and a bass staff. The treble staff is used for higher sounding notes, and the bass staff is used for lower sounding notes. As I play the following notes, notice how the sound of what you are hearing is represented on the grand staff. In the bass staff, C2, C3, C4. In the treble staff, C4, C5, C6. The small lines that are needed to accommodate notes outside of the regular staff are called ledger lines. Notice the location of middle C, known as C4, on the bass staff and on the treble staff. There are eight Cs on a full-size piano keyboard. The virtual keyboard on the screen is showing from the second C to the sixth C, C2 to C6. Here are four consecutive occurrences of the C major scale. Notice how the stepwise progression of the notes is represented on the staff by placing notes consecutively on the lines and in the spaces between the lines. In the bass staff, C2, D2, E2, F2, G2, A2, B2, C3. C3, D3, E3, F3, G3, A3, B3, C4. And in the treble staff, C4, D4, E4, F4, G4, A4, B4, C5. C5, D5, E5, F5, G5, A5, B5, C6. Notice that there is no visual cue on the staff to distinguish between whole steps and half steps. It is expected that the musician knows that half steps occur from B to C and E to F. The treble clef identifies that the second line from the bottom of the staff is G above middle C, or G4. The bass clef identifies that the second line from the top of the staff is F below middle C, or F3. Notice that G is the fifth note counting up from middle C, and that F is the fifth note counting down from middle C.